Welcome back everybody. I just thought I would show you um, the completed altered file folder because I have added a few things to it and this is going to be going up for sale. So for those of you who haven't been following along on the 100 day challenge, um, this has been decoupage um, using um, a touch of spring kit from Artie Mays. And then I've added various laces and trims, book plate, um, did some stitching around it. I've reinforced the spine with some muslin. And there's the back of the file folder. Um, inside, I've got a little notepad here couple of little pockets with a couple of tiny journal cards from the kit. And then I've just um, taken some Irish linen uh, twine and then I've got a tiny little button charm that I've sewn to that, or tied to it, not sewn. <laughs> so that's tucked in there. <clears throat> this is the uh, one of the tags from the kit. I've done some stitching around that. This is one of the journal cards from the kit. I've really enjoyed working with this kit. I think it's uh, you guys know that by now, but this is just from my stash. That's tucked in there. And this is one of the little envelopes and journaling cards that comes in the kit. So pretty. <laughs> Very spring-like. Um, here I've created another little pocket, and this is one of the tags. And this is um, just a couple of, this is from the kit as well. It's a little bitty postcard journal. And then these are just various things I have in my stash. Here I've just put one of the little envelopes I've got from my stash. I've tucked that up there. I didn't want to cover the bunny there, so. And then I've included a couple of the postcards from the kit. Those have been tucked in here. Here I've done a flip up. And this is a journal card for this pocket. I must have left that out to, um, I'll have to trim that down to fit that in there. That's probably why that was laying out. Um, here I've done a <coughs> journal card that goes inside the CD envelope. And that flips up and you've got a, another postcard from the kit. I love these. I love the old writing on there. And then this tiny little notebook. Got three flips here so that you can do a, some more little journal making, uh, writing there. And then over here I've got just a tiny tag tucked in this pocket. Here I've got another tag created. And then in this back pocket, I've done a embossed and collaged envelope. And I've put a couple more journaling cards that come in the kit here. So I've got that tucked in. This is another uh, journal card <coughs> from Artie Mays. This is a different kit. This was the calendar uh, tags and journal cards. And then I created a, a little, you know, just a little writing journal. Um, I just thought that image really needed something doing with her because she's gorgeous. So I've just backed it with some lace and then it's just all been left plain. So if you wanted to add some pockets to the front and back you could. Um, but it's just a mix of book pages, music sheet, 
I've got some avocado dyed um, paper in here, <clears throat> Edith Holden paper. This is the avocado dyed. It really was an interesting batch, that one was. Um, so yeah, just another little notebook that I thought, you know, it, it really is just a sweet little, um, it could be a gift for somebody, or if you just wanted to keep this on your desk for writing notes in. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. But I think it really did need the little, um, the little journal to come come along with it. But there it is, guys. I'm going to set that to the side. That's that's it for the flip through. If you're, you know, if you don't want to stay tuned, I was just going to show you a couple of things I've been getting on for my own personal um, gratification. So if you're bored, you can just switch off now. But <clears throat> this. You know, I was talking in a previous video, I wanted to do <clears throat> a big journal for myself so I have a place to keep, um, like a catalog of ideas that I've done, because there's so many things I did early on for junk journals, and I've I've just forgotten, and I don't always have time to go back through, and, you know, the as great as YouTube is for inspiration, it really does become very overwhelming, so... I've been talking about it, and the other day I thought, doggone it, I I just got to get on. I'm tired of this list of things I want to do for myself, and it, they never get ticked off, so I just thought, one evening I just said, this is it, I'm, I'm, this is what I'm doing tonight, and then this is what I did do, and I love it. I liked this material because, you know, I love florals, and uh, I lean towards um, the shabby chic, but... Um, not too too frilly. I, I don't go for all the foo foo stuff, but um, so I wanted to keep this very plain because it's it's going to hold um, things that I've tried and I use and and I, when I need inspiration, I'm hoping that I could just grab this. But I've kept it really simple inside, guys. Um, and a little by little, I'm just adding little things that. Um, that I have done. I wanted to keep this one because I love it. This was a little uh, notepad that I made using the Tim Holtz photo cards and I wanted to keep that one for myself because I tend to forget about these things. So I haven't added much to it. It's just basically um, <clears throat> a blank canvas. I didn't mind that these pages were white because I personally like a mix of tea dyed and white. I just think it I just like the contrast. This is some of the music roll paper, and I just doubled it up because I thought I might want to try and put some gesso on here and maybe do some art journaling. I don't know. That's, that wasn't supposed to be the intention of this, but who knows? <laughs> um, and these were just various papers um, that I've purchased, and you know they're totally me, so I thought this is going to be a journal for me. Um, and I wanted something that when I opened it up, you know, I thought, oh, yeah, I'm really inspired to add some things to it. But so there you go, guys. That's one project I managed to finally get done. This, I, um, it's too long, but I, I don't want to cut it off at this point because as this fills up, I don't know at what length to cut it. So that's why that's ridiculously long. So, um, so yay, that's one thing that I ticked off. The other thing is um, Rachel. Um, you guys know uh, her channel, but I'll put a link below. Um, so <laughs> this has been a while back. I purchased a um, her little Sydney pouch, and you guys know I I'm, I don't sew. So here's the first one, and this uh, her pattern is brilliant. This is purely down to me as an, you know, a beginner at sewing. Little, you know, but I thought, oh, it's coming along so well. And I was really patting myself on the back. And I pulled it inside out and look at what I did. I stitched everything upside down. But like I said, her pattern is so, so good. But I thought, I'm not going to get rid of it because I love it. And it was my first project. And... You know, at the end of the day, it's still a cute little um, bag that I can use and make myself laugh every time I look at it. So, I think it was um, 
Saturday morning. I had a bit of time and I thought I'm tackling it again. So you can see here's the first one. I hadn't allowed enough of the um, seam allowance for the stitching. So that shows you the difference in size. But this is this is the completed one and I finally got the placement of everything right. So I'm really happy with it. And although um, I didn't put this center, I thought I had, but it wasn't. You can see that slightly off. I love the button. This part, I'm not mad on, and I will, in the next one, um, I'm almost wondering if it wouldn't be cute just to, but see, it's too late. Unless I take a seam ripper and maybe stitch that back in there like that is kind of what I'm thinking because this was a thick jute and I ordered it online and couldn't see it and it's not really ideal for this so I will give some thought to that but anyways I'll put um, Rachel's link below so that's um, well I'll put a link to her shop if you're interested in trying one of these and I highly recommend it for anybody who's beginning to soak because it's such a simple pattern and I think it's a great one for somebody just starting out. And you know, as I said, I you know I I messed up, but I'm still happy with it with it. And I it, I was inspired enough to go ahead and and carry on. So that's what I've been working on, guys. And um, so thank you so much for joining me today. I've got um, oh lots of stuff I'm working on. I mean, lots of stuff. And last night was just a bit. Uh, I was trying to find my, I was going to show you a sneaky peek of the journal I'm working on. It seems to have disappeared as things do in my space. It's crazy. Huh. Anyways, I guess you won't get a sneak peek of the, of the journal I'm working on. But, okay guys, I that's enough of my rambling on. You have a great day and I'll be back tomorrow with day 30 of the 100 Day Project. I'm still baffing around trying to find a project for you guys so anyways that's that um so i'll see you guys tomorrow take care bye